I was just thinking about it, about how much we take for granted what electricity is. You know, everybody knows it's there. It's kind of like a natural phenomenon, like nuclear power and things like that. But it's always there. You walk in a room, you turn on a light, you switch, it works. You know, your refrigerator's cold, your beer's cold. You know, uh, you, your computer's plugged in. Everything works off of electricity. It's natural occurring, it's man-made. We have AC current, we have DC current. And you guys are involved in it now. You'll be the people that are actually putting in the lights and receptacles and things like that. And, and it's, a, it's a difficult job. And you guys have accepted that, that trade. And I appreciate that because there's a lot of things you can do. I've been in the trade for 40 years and it's treated me pretty good. And I know that um, over the time that I've been in the trade, I've seen things change, and it changes all the time, especially the types of construction and the different things we do. <clears throat> Kevin had mentioned that this is a wide open field right now, and I was just looking it up, that they said that the, uh, with the new electrical training that's coming down and the technology that's coming down, the facilities that we're building, like the data centers and stuff, they just gulp tons of electricity. They need so much of it to operate on. And somebody has to install that. Uh, and they say that between 2010 to 2030, that the demand on skilled electricians will grow as much as 14%. Well, that equals about 85,000 to 110,000 new jobs just in that time, just to replace the people that are retiring. Well, with the new skills and stuff and come out with the new uh, types of uh, technology, it's going to demand you more. So I encourage you to take the next step, you know, get involved and continue to learn because this is something that's going to last you for an entire lifetime. And so over the years, I've seen things change. I, I've worked on powerhouses. I've worked on paper mills. I had the freedom after I turned out to decide where I wanted to go. Worked in high rises in, in, in New York City, worked in the subways, worked in data centers, chip manufacturing plants, all this stuff gives you such a, a wide opportunity to decide what you want to do. You can become a contractor, you can become an estimator, you can, can become a project manager, if you want to take your career that far. You could even step into college and, and become an engineer through the electrical background that you've already started. So I really encourage you to continue to learn. There's opportunities with apprenticeship programs. There's one right here. If you'd like to get involved with that, it's just a matter of applying. So it, I really appreciate Skill Point being here. This is what I call a launching pad or a springboard into your career. For this eight week course that you took is great because now you've got a taste of what's out there. You guys done good work out there. I've seen what Jim's done out there. He's done a tremendous job with you guys. Your conduit looks great. In fact, I was bragging about it the other day. I said, look at this three point saddle these guys put in here. It looks just like a journeyman would have done. So you did an excellent job and I really appreciate that. <laughs> Jim, Jim's, uh, under Jim, you guys have got some skills right now that are going to carry you on forward, and that's great. So like I said, it doesn't stop here. You can, you can learn and become a journeyman and, and, and apply your trade anywhere you want in the country, even in the world. You can do that. Or there's the steps that you can take up, become a foreman, a general foreman, a superintendent, a business owner, somebody that does his own electrical work. All these opportunities, you've already taken the first step. So continue with this and continue on with your trip.